Hey up, Nottinghamshire Madness fans. Welcome to what for many is the uninspiring Nottingham Castle. But we have got a castle and uh, thought I'd give you a quick legs of it. We'll just have a look over towards the Tudor-esque buildings. And uh, I'll pop you down to see uh, see an old mate of mine called Robin. So just bear with me on the B on the B75. Here we go. Bumping down the cobbles, bumping down the not so smooth flagstones. <clears throat> Sorry, you're wobbling about a bit. Well, I guess you're wobbling about a bit. This is uh, part of the castle wall. There's various plaques and friezes on the side of the castle here. Here's my mate, Robin Hood. When I was a kid, spent a lot of time with his with his old arrow missing. But he's got it now. Some rather nice old buildings here. The only ones that seem to survive are eateries and pubs and places for in a in a fortification, as it were. Father Gill's, named after Watson Father Gill, fantastic architect of the Victorian area, ranked in the first top three of architects in the country. Watson Father Gill. It was a Mansfield lad, did you know? Anyway, a little bit of a ride around Nottingham on the B75. See what we see, see what we get. Please enjoy the video. So there, through the gates, is what we now have as Nottingham Castle. This is the other side. The gates. Another, another sorry financial tale of bankruptcy. The company that acquired it for a song went bankrupt. But I believe it's back in the hands of Nottingham City Council now, which is, as we know, also bankrupt. Now we're entering the Park Estate. Um, Park Estate is a private estate. Uh, Google it. I think it came about because the the Toffs wanted to keep themselves segregated from the disease and the turmoil and the squalor of the Nottingham streets. Although I guess they were creating it at the time. Anyway, let's have a breeze downhill into the Park Estate. We'll let this car go. Pounds per square metre, I believe this is the most expensive real estate in the in the county. There are some lovely, lovely houses around here. Uh, there are a few Father Gills. There is some reasonably cheap I think these here this block of flats here I think the last one I saw on there was less than 200,000 pounds probably five years ago though some rather interesting steps up into the into the city
some beautiful buildings but a lot of them have been developed into flats or apartments here we have a, a Jensen interceptor four wheel cage unit with the looks of it that looks pretty cool slightly gothic inspired Victorian I'm sure that isn't a Fothergill although it's got got glimpses of Fothergill-esque in it I may be wrong my Nottingham friends will uh, put me right Nottingham there's a tennis club Speed run bumps are no fun when cycling single-handed. Finger post sign there, which is quite an interesting bit of British history all around the British countryside and cities. There are a lot of finger post signs. Got a car behind me. I'll ease off a bit anyway. I'll pull up here, let him bow there. You can see the, the the castle in the background. I'm sorry if there's a load of wind noise. Here we go. Very patient motorist hanging out behind me, an electric MG. I'm having one of those when I'm off for my 67th birthday. Gonna bump up the curb here, nearly fell off. Interesting little ballard disappeared into the road. That keeps the uh, boy pull away out. Lots of things are named after this stone. We'll stop and have a look. We have a brewery named after it, Castle Rock. It adorns many pictures and postcards. Castle Court, that maybe a Fothergill, I'm not sure. So, there we have the castle on top of the rock, sandstone rock. You can see holes which have been honed out by the wind over the years, and no doubt many a boy has climbed to the top of there and who could blame them for a bit of adventure right we'll get over onto the super highway next and then uh, we'll jaunt along there I'll keep the camera running if I can just turn around and try to make it in one piece Anywhere to cross the road. <laughs> All a bit skew if as the highway go code goes, really. So this is our super highway. Knock it up into third gear. I'm just going to move this gear shifter towards the, the bar grip. About eight millimeters, I think. Deep excavation. Cyclist dismount. What a load of mumbo jumbo that is. It's in hell of a state. 
Find you. City Council bankrupt. I suppose there's no money to clean the streets. So I try to keep you as firm as possible. Keep hold of his fern as possible, as it were. When you think about it, we're at the end of January now, virtually, and uh, all these leaves will have fallen off the trees in uh, October last year. And the associated rubbish. We did, uh, some of us on the Brompton Nottingham group did come and tidy up along here. There was a, a lot less then than there is now. You can just get a glimpse of the canal. I'm going to stop here. Rather nice memorial to the men of Lenton and the fallen of Lenton. Officers and sergeants and privates on the side. Just look through at the arms houses here. They're rather sweet. Have a Google Arms Houses and you'll see their significance in British history. Right, B75 is looking good, riding extremely well. Dead impressed with it. Let's carry on. Well, we've made it up to Highfield Park or Highfields Park, which is on the way to Beeston. Um, Part of the university, fantastically Jesse Boot building, boating lake in the summer, bit of a folly here where you can sit and have a bit of lunch, always a nice green van, cafe galleries and over the road there, the other side of the field is an art gallery. Too many kids about to film too much. Some geese, guy doing his tricks on his unicycle. It's one of our sites for the picnics, one on picnic rides. <coughs> Bring you back soon. So this is University Boulevard and uh, <coughs> we're now at the Beeston end. So we'll have a little ride along here. This is sort of this from what as a as a kid, this is one of the first places I saw bikes on pavements. Well the retro Honda 50 over there. I don't know if you caught a glimpse of it. So we've got the uh Harkles Park on the left and the university building through there beautiful place packed out in the summer busy today that's why I've not filmed so much do I have a new coat actually it's a Peter Storm coat from Go Outdoors I want something sort of padded not necessarily down this won't be down it'll be fake uh, 19 quid with a hood a little bit warmer than the other coat. You're going to go outdoors, you've got loads of choice. From this was 40, allegedly 40 quid down to whatever. Then you obviously have the go outdoors discount being a go, go outdoors member. I guess it's all a bit of a Bit of a giggle, I suppose. 
these amazing trees along here. Over the uh, other side where the tram is, we've got Hot Nottingham Hockey Centre. 10th of February the next match. Nottingham Tennis Centre is also further along the other side of the road. We're back at Tyfields Park. Beautiful city park. Many people grumble about the uh, University of Nottingham because it's a big university and uh, obviously it has the entourage that goes with it. The students and the students accommodation. I've just, I'm just stopping to show you something here. Which is... So, modern Nottingham is all about boots and Jesse boot and the legacy Jesse boot left Nottingham and he founded the university he did I don't know how much money boots made as a business but as a person he I would think he, had a, he must have had a bob or two well there's Jesse boot let me just dump the bike a minute kickstand why do people want to kickstand on a Brompton? Many people ask, that's why. So here's Jesse. This is a monument to his industry beyond, an everlasting monument to his benevolence. Couple of rather cross looking eagles up there and the boot, the Jesse boot building behind, the other side of the lake. Well worth a visit. Well worth a visit, guys. Bring you back soon. <laughs> this is one of my favourite chill out areas. It's the, I think it's called the Science Park. We call it Science Park. I'm sure that's what it, what it is. This lovely decking. Looks like they're preparing land here for something else. Let's hope it's of architectural interest. Like this. I find this quite interesting. I was on an architectural tour of Nottingham and uh, the guy from the uni who led the tour, his father, I believe, designed this and he didn't like it. That's not, his, his father didn't like it. He didn't like it. The son didn't like it. So, I think that's quite amusing. But he, uh, shame on him for publicly denouncing his father's work. No, I'm only joking. Let's stop and have a look. Stop at the end here. There's a nature, there is a nature reserve at the end. So this is across from the Highfields Park. Beautiful little corner of nature. Yeah, look at that. Axel stand. <coughs> so beasts and sidings, local nature reserve. Was once. There were sidings. Bit of a map here. We're here. Jesse Boat Jesse Boot Avenue. So I guess we've come from Highfield Park down here onto the onto here. Then we've gone down University Boulevard. And we've cut across the tram tracks here and we've, we've, we've come to here, I guess. Beast and sidings. <coughs> I find this quite pleasing. A lot of modern architecture I find these days tends to 
be in the guise of what was once called brutalist and a lot of your 1930s 20s 30s even 40s brutalism still looks good to this day a lot of your modern architecture after about three or four years there are some flats in Nottingham in fact I'll try to go back there and show you tend to look about 150 years old when they're probably only 20 years old right we're heading down onto the canal I don't know what I can bring you from there I'll, be, I'll take you over the Boots, Boots Bridge that's always good we're sort of heading over <clears throat> to the Boots factory now which deserves a video in its own right so I shan't do anything there have a Google have a look on YouTube um, you know those days when you get you get one of those pains in your shoulder or in your neck or in your bum bone or your toe bone or your thigh bone or neck ache or leg ache or what do you turn to? Because <clears throat> most people in the world turn to ibuprofen. Is it ibuprofen or ibuprofen? Tell you in a minute, it says here. Oh. You reckon they should be fine. Well, this is to cut the waffle, and because I can't find the spot on the board, Dr. Stuart Adams. He was instrumental in the discovery of ibuprofen. And he got all sorts of accolades. He got his OBE, he was uh, honorary degrees, blue plaques, Freeman of the city of Nottingham. This is this is him here. So this is a bridge built in his memory. Absolutely cracking structure. Rusty steel, I love rusty steel. That's the way ahead. So, when you're in pain next time and you're taking an ibuprofen, think of Nottingham. Dr. Stuart Adams. Great guy, got to have been. So, at the back of the boots factory, I'm on the other end of Stuart, Stuart's bridge. I'm going to freewheel downhill and we can more or less freewheel all the way to the canal. So, let's have a bit of a freewheel. This is, is quite a strategic link in Nottinghamshire's, not or Nottingham City cycling infrastructure because it's it's connected to two areas because the, the connection before was either through Beeston or over the flyover. We'll let the lorry go. So there's your boots complex. Site users only, no bits full of, uh, there's a lorry full of uh, boots, bits and bobs. Used to make all sorts here, wet goods, dry goods. I think wet goods were shampoos and stuff like that, and dry goods were pills and tablets and stuff like that. Yeah, so they cut this through. I don't know, I did lead, I did come over when it opened more or less on the day and I did lead a bike ride over here I've got a creaky saddle it's not my bum and my knees the bag is uh, worth stopping to look at I'm going to go smooth tarmac. Just use the kickstand again. So the bag is um, it's a Brompton bag. In, little Brompton logos on, on it. You can see those on here. 2020 limited edition 
British Olympic team, Olympic bag. Wasn't 2020 the failed Olympics due to COVID. Anyhow, they sold all these off. Cheap. My mate Alan. He saw the other day. <coughs> he pinged me a message. Hey up, brilliant bikes. Olympic bags, half price. So I think. 75 quid probably, don't know. Bargain. Like a bargain. Yeah, so this is a great bit of psych infrastructure, much needed, used by many. Beautiful on the summer circuit of bike rides. circumnavigating the boots facility and you can I think you can virtually get all the way around the boots facility on cycle cycle route we're not going to do it because at the end here we all go go left current owners are I believe from over the pond in the good old US of A. Whether it's... I can't remember who owns it. Somebody bought it from over there anyway. We're back towards the canal and uh, people living on the river. I'll bring you back, actually. I'll bring you back when there's a little bit more history to look at. We were on the edge of <clears throat> what was another previous Nottingham City employer. Uh, John Players. John Players Tobacco. This site, this is the, uh, I guess, the western edge of the player site which has all been redeveloped the players original factory from probably the 1930s maybe wrong was a concrete structure very brutalist in design but it was designed by I should say Swiss but it could be a Swede or Scandinavian somewhere over there or a Scandinavian North European countries i believe he was architect anyway and he um when he designed it it was designed as a box it looked like a box a concrete box but it was designed to have a modular interior like an ikea factory a factory where you could change the walls around so it was built as a box the internal walls you could move around inside and it could be adapted as any production facility for anything come climatic change probably stems from the war when factories had to adapt so they built this factory that could be turned into a factory to make anything they've knocked it down end of what is sad <coughs> the, from what i've seen they haven't named the roads yet but it's not I think it's called power something power average I don't know something to do with electricity its name absolutely no recognition of its of the site's initial use and uh, the only recognition I have found and it isn't players is uh, we've got to the Imperial Imperial tobacco bus stop for Nottingham City Transport Cigarettes, I know the thing of the past, but so is uh, so is looking witches on wicking witching stalls in the local in the village pond or burning them at stakes. Time moves on, doesn't it? But it's part of history to be forgotten. A bit further, we have a big road 
We have some construction over there on the cycle path. I'm going to take you down an underpass. A lot of these have been filled in, in the, around the country. I think all the ones we have in Mansfield have been filled in on the grounds of antisocial behaviour. So this goes under the big road, under the big junction and will pop up who knows where. Strangely, no cyclist dismount signs. A bit of graffiti. Wow. I'm going to stop it. God, it stinks. I'm going to get through and we'll stop. Oh, it stinks. There's a tide line. Can you see it? Right, the off stinking all. I'm five foot seven. Ed, so guess what my arm is on five foot eight. So that's five foot eight. You see my hand? It's slimy. There's a tide line. Wow. You see the got it nasty thing. Sewage I guess. Right, welcome to uh, the sewers of Nottingham. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. Let's get up here, I'm walking. Oh gosh. I don't know how long it is since that was flooded. It's gotta be three weeks jeepers look at this really swore then <clears throat> oh that's gross gosh one of our local signs tagged up with there were all sorts of tags I don't get this. Hello, my name is. I don't see any point. If you're going to stick something on a sign, let's make it worthwhile. You know, if you're going to stick something on a sign, let's have a. Oh, I don't know how much you got on the last sentence. Uh, does the battery died? I've just changed the battery. What well, I was saying, signs and stickers. I'm not going back down there. Signs and stickers. Maybe I should get some Nottinghamshire Madness stickers and plaster all over the place. Right. Whew. I'm going to stand you up a minute. See my new coat now. A new coat and go outdoors. The other thing of go outdoors, I bought a thermos mug um, with a tenner. Cold water in this one. Um, sports mind. 
a UK charity called Mind, 10 quid. How much of it goes to the charity, I don't know. <coughs> anyway, that's my new coat. Orange lining, 19 quid. We'll move on a bit more. We'll film a bit as well. Gosh, please excuse my... Uh, I'm still choked. That was, uh, <coughs> that was viral. <sighs> right. <coughs> it's really killed me. Mini garage. Actually, this is a awful bit of road to cycle along because <clears throat> it must be a car thing when they come to look at cars they drive along here as though they've just come off Mario Kart so you sort of pedal down here and you've got the uh, the Mario Kart drivers it still smell drains sitting as BMW Interesting question. I, I'm fortunate. I have, I have use. Oh. I have use of an electric vehicle, electric car, which is I'm going on the pavement. So I have use of an electric car, and I've got to say. It's actually outstanding. It costs five pounds to do a hundred miles. <clears throat> It'll do probably two hundred and fifty miles on a run. I don't. I've still smell the drip. I've not driven two hundred and fifty miles in one go for many, many years. Anyway, we've passed Sitner, who sell Mini, BMW, and all that jazz. See what we've got here. Maserat and Ferrari. When in 2035, when uh, you can only buy a new electric car, <coughs> what will the difference be? I mean, the difference with those things is they've probably got V12 engines, multi-valve cylinders, turbos, two, three, four, oh God knows how many turbos, supercharged, all sorts of gizmos. When we've got an electric car, does it not become no more than the humble torch? The chargeable torch? So, what becomes of the Ferrari? What becomes of the Maserati? The Aston Martin garage is up by the... Uh, up by where we were with the... Um, I'm going to try to get a side view with you. Crouchers. Has anybody ever seen a Crouch Transporter? God, they carry some big stuff. I think they put stuff on YouTube as well. They carry tanks and all sorts of Crouchers. Do you ever see one of their lorries? Anyway, back to what I was saying, yeah. MG. I want an MG. That's what I'll be having an electric car. So we're heading up to Dunkirk now. I've waffled on about electric cars enough. Yeah. Cycle fly over. Pedestrian fly over. This is three lanes each way. People moving. Everything, everything about is about the way people move.
You can tell it's Sunday because most of these have got two people in. Generally, they've only got one person in. Right, well I've had enough of trying to pedal on again the traffic and film as well. So a little junction here, we'll stop and have a look, see what's down there. There's loads of bloody rubbish here. Wow. Let me go back. This is very British, I'm afraid to say. Wow, what a mess. You probably, you probably don't all come out on camera. There's an iron. The box of the next bit. It seems it's a, it is a. For those of you watching from abroad, you must have the same. There's another box of cables. A little rucksack thing, handbag thing. Can you see the owl on the gable end of that house, on the wall end of that house? <clears throat> or two owls, rather nice. We're on the. <clears throat> I'm still suffering from poison. We're on the site of Lenton Priory. There's a bit of a bit of stonework there, let's see if we can see anything about it. Oh, so the pillar you see here is part of the Norman Norman rounded east end of the priory. I'm still suffering from that sewage and that underpass. Anyway, I think this has been part of a time team in, uh, investigation. Time team in the UK is a TV series that goes around unearthing archaeological interests, and I believe this has formed part of that. We'll go a bit further. I've had to rescue a bag out of that pile of crap. Don't ask me why. It just sat there. There was a bag of bags. <coughs> it was in a bag of bags. I've rescued it. It's not full of drugs, I don't think. No needles. I did have a feel around and I never hurt myself. Oh dear. That uh, has really took my breath away. I'm going to try to get around the end of here. This little church. I guess this is Lenten Church. Because there might be something of interest around the other side. I'm loving this, I'm loving this B75. It's transformed it. I know they're selling about loads of bikes, but it really has. We've got a boop, 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 boop. From there. Ceramics. 
It's all rather nice. Get a photo before we go and I'll put it on the uh, group, Facebook group, group. Let's have a look inside, see what there is. So there's the hunting, fishing and tithes granted to Lenten Priory were a constant source of tension with the local populace who had lived on the and the, it's going to go on and on and on and on this is I guess we can google this I'll try to find a link welcome to a Priory Sculpture Park a small pocket of Nottinghamshire history I'll try to do a google and I'll pop a couple of pictures on the old Facebook ah. mosaic how beautiful is that and all these little information thing with jiggers right. let's stop and have a look at this I've not stopped here before but it's got promise fish no description so we'll google the reason I say it's got cross possibilities it's got a table tennis court table and got snowdrops wow beautiful spring is on the way Beautiful snowdrops. Absolutely amazing. I do a lap of the sculpture park. We have one piece of sculpture and we have these little sign things which are going to depict the history of Nottingham, which we'll find a link for on the old YouTube. On Facebook rather. So I guess my next foray <clears throat> into the wilds of Nottingham I'll include a table tennis bat or two and ball or two. Oh that's cool. That is proper cool. It'd be a good day for table tennis as well, there's no day no, no wind. There's another little bit of stonework here. So we'll stop. I'll have a look and then I'll stop the camera and take some pictures. Look, kickstand. Who needs a kickstand on a Brompton? Everyone asks me that. I do. Wow, this is amazing. I don't know what this is. I'm looking through the camera. So you're telling me what you think you've seen. As I say, I should Google this and see what we can put on the... That's beautiful, that is. I don't know when this was carved. <coughs> it's deep. It says it was carved a long time ago. But the detail, I mean, we've still got fingers in his hand here, or hers, and pleats and pleats in the dresses. So how old it is, I don't know. Well, that is beautiful. It should have some sort of pagoda put above it, really. <clears throat> Show you the church. Right, I'm gonna put the uh, GoPro away and uh, car there with no number plate on. Put the GoPro away and take some pictures for you. I'm going to duck along the river now. It's 
smell of <coughs> wood smoke I guess from the guys on the liverboard boats <coughs> Rather nice views from these balconies on the left. There's the Nottingham Marina. Bought the kids here many, many years ago when it first opened and uh, entered a prize draw and won a book the can. A book the can is one of the beautifully painted water containers that they have on narrow boats. I'll uh, I've still got it at home, it's on the uh, <coughs> it's on the Welsh dresser of rubbish memorabilia. I'll post a photograph of it so you know what a book the can is. <coughs> Never been in that pub. Bye bye canal. Back to city centre. This is miss out the awful bit of road junction here. Now we're back on to the super highway with third gear. So I guess I guess we've done a full circle. I guess this video is going to be incredibly long so if you watched it this far well done but what I'm actually going to do is make more than one video out of it so I'm going to sign off from here how many parts I've made the video into thank you for watching my little tour of my hometown, my, well, my home city, I guess. On the beautiful Brompton B75. Sorry, mate. Ding down in the middle of the cycle route. So, thanks for coming along on the ride. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.
Excuse the cough. Well, that was an, an abrupt ending to a video. I'm here at Madness Manor. Thank you for watching. If you watched all of it, it's much appreciated. I had thought of dividing the video up into probably three sections of sort of 20 minutes per section, but I couldn't really make it work that way. It was, the bike ride was in its entirety a one, one, a one day journey. <clears throat> um, so I think true to my soul of what I've tried to do with videos I made the video a one a one shot video with an editing I did say in the video that I was going to, to cut it down but I, I didn't it finished at Notting Railway Station and I'm sorry I didn't do a do an ending um, I did actually do an ending but it didn't really work so thank you for watching Nottingham <clears throat> oodles of bike riding infrastructure good quality psych infrastructure accessible by rail by bus the train service into nottingham from pretty much all around the country is is excellent if you fancy coming to nottingham please come along and give me a message look on facebook look at the facebook group Brompton, Nottingham. Another Facebook group to look at is Nottingham Velo Venturers. And another Facebook group is Rural Rides. Rural Rides. They're in Nottingham. Um, I'll probably put a link actually on my Facebook page rather than in the description on here. In the Facebook group rather. Um, <clears throat> I've, it was, I just touched the surface of cycling in Nottingham, Nottingham Cycling Infrastructure, it's a university city, students have a big presence in the city, um, yes I did talk about how the city council is bankrupt and but then that's pretty true to most town and city councils as we go through the country but we have to be aware of these things but please if you want to come to Nottingham do so we have an absolutely amazing array of cycling infrastructure within the city. The county of Nottinghamshire has some fantastic tracks and trails. We've got the trail centre centre at Sherwood Pines. In the north of the county, we've got the um, <clears throat> Plesley Vale, uh, Plesley Trails, the Teversal Trails, National Cycle Network Route 6, although it has been disowned by South Strands, still exists still goes from nottingham through sherwood pines if you're a tourer we've got campsites oodles oodles of entertainment we've got the chesterfield canal you can get from nottingham i'm going to say you can ride from nottingham to york version without going on any roads you can access Chesterfield from Nottingham without going on any roads. You can go up to Sheffield. You can go to Lincoln, into Lincolnshire, to Boston. And it's an amazing array of good country bike touring, whether it be on Brompton, touring bikes, mountain bikes, or just for, for, for a day's ride. You can get the train to Shirebrook or Worksop or other areas of the county. With the Brompton, you can carry it on the local bus service. So please come to Nottingham.
Come have a look, give us a shout. Look at the Facebook groups for Nottingham. We have a critical mass for last Friday of the month, which is always good. I'm sorry the video was an abrupt end. I'm sorry the video was an hour long. Um, but I was out to try the bike. I was out to try the B75 to give it a good run out, to test it out, to ride it. I absolutely loved riding that bike around Nottingham. I love the sense of the sense of lightness, the sense of it not being having an encumbrance of bolt-on parts other than the actual stand, which is an a very emotive subject. Um, but so that's sort of the end, that, that concludes the video. So I'm here at Madness Manor. Uh, I'm going to upload this overnight and I'm going to enjoy a, a nice um, glass of spiced rum. So thank you for coming along on the journey. Thank you for watching. And there will be a lot more in Nottingham and Nottinghamshire and surrounding counties. Thank you guys.